Hello everyone. Welcome to Cyber Security Think Tank. As we are going to start the second lab of module 5 system hacking. Right. So lab is simply creating and using the rainbow table. So we are going to create and how to use the rainbow table. Basically I'm going to tell is uh, we are going to use WinRTGen, right? And it's a graphical rainbow table generator that supports all kind of as I'm talking about LM, right, NTNM. So it is the tool to decode all kind of tool having the multiple bits like SHA, SHA2, 128, 256 bits, right? So Rainbow Crack is a computer program that generates the rainbow table for use in the password cracking. So we are going to crack the particular hashes we have. In the last lab, as we have created some uh, hashes, you know, right so we are in this lab we are going to crack that particular hashes simply in, in case i'm talking about the attackers in case you go to the hashes like in case i'm talking about attackers so gaining access to the system sam database to get the sam file in which we have all the hashes right so we are going to crack that so the plain text password is to use the rainbow table rainbow table is basically a pre-computed table of all possible combination of a given character set and their responses hash values right so used for reversing the cryptographic hash functions in the password crackers and the computer rainbow tables right so pre-computed definition we are going to use in this particular lab to crack the password that is simply known as so objective lab is to crack the hashes and obtain the plain text password. So here we are going to use the win artigen. So we'll click on this is first what about win artigen? So download win artigen. Sci.it. You can see here the detail. As you can see, number of tools we have can enable and all. This team and this one we have WinRTGen is a graphical rainbow table generated that supports LM, FastLM, NTLM, right? All kind of hashes, right? So we are going to download it. Ignore this. Here is a tool as we have save OK. As we have downloaded for you already. So we are going to install now. Click cancel. OK. bin this is the exe file we are going to execute here you can see the detail right the bin rtgn we are going to use version 2.8 rainbow table generator right you can download the latest version of rainbow crack also so it's rainbow crack It's a computer program which you need the rainbow table as I told you to use in the password cracking. Right, it refers from the conventional brute force attack in that it used large pre computer tables called the rainbow tables to reduce the length and the need to crack the password. Drastically simply, this is the tool in which you can generate the rainbow tables, right? And this is all about the crack hash of the rainbow table. This is the rainbow crack detail. Right. The general purpose implementation of the fast time memory tier of techniques. It cracks the hashes with the rainbow table. 
use this time memory thread of algorithm to crack the hashes this is the algorithm we are going to use time memory thread off it differs from the brute force hash cracker brute force hash cracker generate all the possible plain text and compute the corresponding hashes on the fly and then compare the hashes of the hash to cracked when the match is completely found the plain text is found it is possible the plain text are tested and no match is found the plain text is not found and within this type of hash cracking all intermediate computing results are discarded right so first our work is to so we can download this right you can see here the detail as we have already right now we can start the work as we have started now we are going to add the table then select 10 TLM the third one from the hash list right and set the minimum line is 4 and the maximum is 6 and then chain count should be default and then select the lower alpha from character okay I can see here a to z in the lower case right this is and then click okay so with these settings you are just creating a rainbow table that can be used to crack only NTLM hashes containing the lowercase alphabet in case you want to use the uppercase then you can go for that and that particular alphabet should vary from four to six character in the length so this is all about we are creating the table by using this tool and then in case we have the hash then we can crack the hash as in the last lab we have hash so we can use that clicking ok it has started you can see here simply when RTG takes a lot of time to generate the password but you know save the time for this lab simply generate hash tables we have used the created hash we have this is table we have created the generated table is to use the rainbow crack in the order to crack the password for the various length and all so this is the table we have created by using win rt gen Then we are going to execute the tool. Here we go. Now we will add the hash file or the hash we have created. We have, sorry. And then by using that particular table we have created. We are going to crack this hash right as we have the hash in C there's a hash as we have generated from the same file in the last lab for the first lab of the system hacking then copy Keep 
paste clicking ok as you can see here the status in the plain text format is showing the question mark because still we have to uh, use that particular table so in the rainbow table search for the rainbow table and we have created desktop the tools rainbow table creation tool first one ok open right start it and you can see here we got the password finally right and this is the plain text password in the hex and this is the plain text password the password is admin you can see in the message body is a byte memory calculated for the table buffer is such a one hash and the plain text is this is admin the disk is theta body right you can see here the plain text found one of one total time is taken the chain traverse alarm check read and all the time for the disk read whatever we have done we have lowered the particular table by using what we are going to crack right so again I'm going to show you all these things what we have done because a lot of things we have done so first part is you can click on stop for WinRTGN it still is you can see here it still is generating uh, the table but because admin is a first you know the question is right so we can stop this as we have finished the task so first we are going to execute the WinRTGN as we have started right then in the add table we have added a table and from the C drive we got the hashes from this file we got right this hash and by using the help of rainbow table finally we crack the password right so this is all about we we'll have 41 creating and using the rainbow tables thank you